up to um, 5,000 Afghan evacuees will be making their way to Camp Atterbury uh, for a matter of, has, has been described to us for a matter of weeks, not months. Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb announcing that Camp Atterbury near Indianapolis will soon house thousands of Afghan refugees. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Jackson. Tom Powell has the night off. Will some of those refugees come to the fort? And what should they expect once they get to the Hoosier State? Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose talked with a refugee who settled here in the fort with her family 15 years ago. Corinne has our top story. The Secretary of Defense named Camp Atterbury as one of six sites across the country chosen to temporarily house tens of thousands of Afghan refugees evacuated from the country. The federal government will pay to house, feed, medically treat, and security screen them to ease their transition to living in the United States. Atterbury will receive 1,000 Afghan refugees at a time, up to 5,000 total. Nay Nguyen Wei explained what she went through when Catholic Charities brought her to Fort Wayne from a Burmese refugee camp in Thailand in 2005. I help me refugee and how we can make them, um, you know, like to forget about the past and focus on positive um, changes and then be, have a good life. Because of what they lived through in Burma, she says she and her family were afraid to speak to what she describes as very large police officers here. She says cultural differences like that with any refugee could be significant and that the community should be patient as the newcomers try to settle in. They are going to face lots of challenges, but that challenges is somehow is a good chain in their life and they have to go step by step. Catholic Charities is one of very few organizations in Indiana designated by the federal government to resettle refugees. Those with relatives already living in America will be resettled near them. Some of the refugees in this new country on their own may settle in Fort Wayne, but it's not known how many that could be. We're talking to housing, education systems, health care, and especially interpreters. Right now, that's going to be a huge thing that we need to work on. Catholic Charities hopes to learn more about how many refugees could resettle in the area in the next few weeks. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC. Now, if you speak Farsi, Dari, Pashto, or Uzbek, the folks with Catholic Charities would like to hear from you. And you can call the center at 260-422-5625. That's 260-422-5625.